I think that we should give a brief overview of just what it is, or since that might be too uh, much to do briefly, maybe what it means to be just a theory of the parthood relation. Because I, I and I think a nice way of doing this is by disambiguating the term part because it's used in so many ways in English, like I'm part of the soccer team or whatever. But I mean, please tell me how you'd explain the basic idea of Mariology to a new student or something like that. Well, uh, the basic idea is simply that uh, we seem to live in a world where there are, let's focus for the time being on the most obvious uh, uh, picture. Um, a world where there are all sorts of uh, things, uh, large and small, and some of the large things include um, small things as parts. So, for example, you're holding um, uh, a mug, uh, and the mug has smaller parts, for example, the handle. Um, or look at your body, you have hands, you have feet, you have a head. Um, so we see things as, as structured in uh, this way. Uh, we speak of um, uh, all sorts of uh, things around us uh, using the language of uh, part and whole. And um, so there is this idea that there is some relationship that holds among various things out there, um, which is the uh, part of uh, uh, relation. So the handle is part of the knife. Um, the remote control unit is part of the stereo system. Um, this half is your part of the cake and that half is my part. Um, the cutlery is part of the tableware, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And in fact, um, as soon as we start thinking about it, we realize that it's not just material objects that uh, seem to be organized in this uh, way, but all sorts of entities. So the circle is part of the area. Um, the vertices are part of the boundary. The bombing was part of the attack. So mm -hmm. events, uh, abstract entities such as geometric figures and so on, they all seem to be organized in terms of this um, part, uh, whole um, uh, structure. Um, and mereology is intended as a theory of um, you know, this kind of relation. Um, I said earlier, it's a theory of parthood relations or relationships, if you like, as opposed to um, part-whole relations. And the reason is that whether the second term of the relation, whether the second um, argument is what we would ordinarily call a whole, uh, with the W again, from now on, I'm going to drop that qualification, um, mm -hmm. um, is a different matter, is a different matter. You may say that your hand is part of your arm, and you may not be willing to say that your arm your arm is a whole object. Only your right. body would qualify as a whole object. Now, um, that is not, strictly speaking, a mereological uh, claim. Um, the mereological claim is that X is part of Y. Whether Y, in turn, qualifies as a whole, it's a different issue. Uh, and that's where, since you mentioned the term earlier, I think, um, um, that's where... Um, maybe a topology would eventually uh, enter the picture. Mm -hmm. And we'll get into that yeah. later. So it's basically this basic idea that there is some complexity, some structural complexity, and that structural complexity is not, for example, set theoretic, but, uh, you know, down to earth, a uh, mereological part whole uh, complexity. 